Remember, teamwork makes the green dream work. Alright, how's it going everyone? You're watching the Green Dream Project. Jim here, and today I am about to start to raise the roof! Oh yeah. <laughs> no. I tried. It's kind of a late start to this, to the day already. Been busy, I went into town earlier today. Then I came back, had to put together another video. That's all squared away. Now it's into the afternoon, but I want to get a little bit of work done and the first thing I'm going to do on this project, on this epic rain roof, I want to start getting these piers off this pallet and I'm just going to rough it, just kind of in the general idea where they go, then I'll start squaring it up. Now these things are heavy, just on the first day on the delivery I wanted to get this tarped up and I already got a little bit of an injury. Not good. So <laughs> and I should know better, but I mean concrete box like this they're just made to rip skin apart so I'll be wearing gloves throughout the rest of this process believe you me <laughs> mixed match gloves because that's how we roll out here that's how I roll anyway. <laughs> So I'm at the end of this work day. This is about all I could probably do for today. The sun's about to go down and I'm gonna need sunlight for the next part, which is, uh, so I got all, hold up. So I got all the concrete piers. I took them off the pallets over there and I just, I laid it out, just kind of roughed it out, just kind of where approximately they're going. They are definitely not square yet. I just wanted to get them off there and just get them laid out. The next step will be to get some more accurate measuring tools and get them a little closer. Try and get this thing squared up. This is probably the most critical part of the build right here. It's just making sure everything is square and where it needs to be. Once that's done, it's all easy from there. It's all easy peasy. Let me show you what I'm working with. Just to give you a bit of an idea, the scope of this project here all the way back down past Grace's trailer and each of those concrete piers will have their own four by four inch post man I don't know what I've, I don't know what I've gotten myself into <laughs> all right I'll bring you back on the next day when we resume I'm not really sure it's gonna be kind of weird I'm not really sure this is going to be a multi-day process. I'm not sure when these videos will begin and end, but we'll be back. <laughs> All right, it's the morning time. Now I got my blocks laid out and Jessica and I, we got up at the crack of dawn, got out here. We want to make a lot of progress ASAP. We're running string across from all four corners, trying to get that 90 degree, trying to square this up. We got line running across the back and I've already repositioned some of these piers to meet that line. We tried running a line going across the top, but that didn't work out so well. I wasn't crazy about that. I wanted it closer to the ground where I could get these piers all lined up all nice and straight. <laughs> all right, now we got three of the sides with string on it. We're gonna finish up the four side, and it should be square. But I think we're gonna double check one more time just to make sure all of our angles are at 90 degrees. So we got the outer edges all squared off where we want them. It's looking pretty good. Now we wanna run a line down the middle so we can line up our center piers. All tricky. Remember, teamwork makes the dream work. 
Remember, teamwork makes the green dream work. So now that we got all the string up, it's looking nice and square, it's time to move on to the next phase of the project. Hope you enjoyed what you've seen so far. Squaring obviously takes quite a while and we just wanted to make sure that part was right. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, stick around because this project is going to be exciting. Definitely share with a friend or two because they like being square too. It's hip to be square. <laughs> and as always, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All right, we'll catch you on the next video and it is going to be on getting these piers into the ground. All right, later everyone.